Would you like to know how to crimp RJ45 connectors to network cables? Do you want to see how the new generation pass-through connectors look like? Then sit back and watch this tutorial. Welcome to this DSE video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install an RJ45 connector. RJ45 connectors are nowadays very popular in the CCTV field. In the modern IP CCTV systems, all devices are using these plugs. Router, switches, IP cameras, NDI, all these devices come with an RJ45 connector. What do we need for this video tutorial? First we need the connectors, of course. In this tutorial we are using pass-through RJ45 connectors. What is a pass-through connector? It's a new generation of Ethernet plug that is much easier and safer to crimp. Then we need rubber caps. This is the classic DSC orange color. We have other colors as well. And then we need a crimping tool. This is a special crimping clamp for the pass-through connectors. If you don't have this clamp, you can use a standard clamp instead. Well, now we have all what we need for this tutorial. Let's go to find out how to crimp an RJ45 connector. Okay, here we have our uh, network plug and the rubber cap. The goal of this tutorial is to transform a network cable like this into a patch cord with terminals. In this tutorial, I'm using pass-through connectors. Most tutorial you will find on this subject over the web refers to the standard um, RJ45 plug. Uh, in my opinion, these new generation uh, plugs will soon replace the standard one because uh, this connector is providing so many benefits in terms of easy crimping and also safe connection. So let's start taking a network cable. This is a, a Cat5e, the standard and most common uh, cable for IP cameras. Uh, now I'm going step by step to show you how to crimp the connector on the top of this wire. Step number one. Take the rubber cap and slide it along the cable. This operation is the easiest, of course, but it's also very easy to forget. Usually, you realize that you forgot the cap at the end of the job, and this makes most people very angry. So the first recommendation is, do not forget the rubber cap before starting. Step number two, removing the jacket. To mount the connector onto the cable, we need to remove a piece of PVC jacket. If we were using a standard network plug, we should remove a very short piece of jacket. But since we are using a pass-through connector, we can remove 4 or 5 cm of jacket uh, with no problem. This will make all the next step much easier. How to remove the jacket? You can do it with any tool like scissors. But the best tool, of course, is our crimping clamp. Our crimping clamp comes with a hole that is just for this purpose. Let's put the cable inside. Press the clamp. Rotate a little bit. 
and it's done. What is inside a network cable? Inside the network cable, there are eight wires divided in four twisted pairs. Green, brown, blue, orange twisted pair. Each twisted pair consists of two wires, one in solid color and the other one in the solid color with white stripes. The first thing we should do is to untwist these twisted pairs in order to get eight single wires as straight as possible. So let's start from the first twisted pair, the orange one. Now I untwist this pair and then with my finger I shape the wires in order to make it as straight as I can. So here I finished my job. Now I have eight straight cables. Now the most important step of our whole process. We must define the correct sequence of color for the cables before inserting the wires into the connectors. There are two standards, standard A and standard B. Choosing standard A or B is exactly the same for your CCTV system. Uh, in fact, they are the, the, exactly the same wiring, but just the, the, the orange and green color are inverted. The important thing is that if you choose standard A, just use standard A for your whole system, all connectors on one end and on the other end of the cable as well. In the CCTV system, we always make straight cables. What is a straight cable? A straight cable is a cable with the same color sequence on both ends. Which color sequence should we choose? Uh, it's exactly the same as I said, but the most popular sequence is the sequence B. I don't know the reason why it is more popular, but that's the fact. So let's make um, uh, sequence B. And here it is. White orange, orange, white green, blue, white blue, green, white brown, brown. How to remember easily this uh, wiring? We start from the blue couple that must be in the middle. So the, um, the, the, the blue pair should be in the middle with the solid color on the left. Then we put the green pair on the left and on the right of the central pair. Which one, which one to put on the left and which one on the right? Uh, remember that uh, this kind of wiring uh, do not accept two solid color close to each other. So if we have a solid color here, this one should be the white and green. If we have a stripe color here, this one must be solid, so solid green. Then we have the orange pair and the brown pair on the left and on the right. Again, we put the solid color close to the striped one. This is the sequence that you should obtain. Once that you get the sequence, then with the fingers you should try to make the wires closer. and give them a shape that is more uh, ready to be inserted into the connectors. While doing this, always check 1000 of time that the original color sequence is not lost. Here we have our wires ready to get into the plug. Let's take our plug in this way with the tab facing down and slowly slowly we slide the cable inside. 
every cable must take his own way till it gets through the connector on the other side. Here we can see all the benefits uh, of having this kind of pass-through connector instead of a, of a normal one. The first benefit is that we can easily check that the right color sequence has been respected inside the terminals. With a classic terminal, with a classic plug, the only way to do that is to look through the uh, uh, connector itself, and this is because it is transparent, to check if the colors are still the one that we uh, decided at the beginning. Uh, but some mistake at the, at inside the connector could be uh, unnoticed. This is very dangerous. Besides, with this kind of connector, we are sure that all the cables will be crimped properly inside the connector. Again, with normal plugs, uh, maybe we are not sure if some wire maybe could be too short and is not crimped properly when we crimp the connector uh, altogether. Another big benefit we have with this uh, uh, pass-through plug is that we can slide the connector down to the jacket till the jacket get properly inside the connector to the point that it will be crimped tightly. Again, with a standard uh, plug, this is not so sure because normally we tend to cut the jacket a little bit shorter to have more conveniency uh, in, in, the, in the wire management and uh, this could result in having the jacket not properly crimped together with the plug. And normally this could compromise the mechanical resistance of the plug itself. As you can see, pass-through connectors have so many benefits. Once you try one of these connectors, you will never go back to a classic one, even if you get it for free. For this reason, I presume that pass-through connectors will be soon very, very popular and the old-style connector will be discontinued. Now it's time to crimp our connector. To do that, we use a crimping tool. This is our special clamp for pass-through connector. As you can see, it comes with a blade that cut the wires during crimping. If you don't have this special tool, do not worry. You can use a standard clamp. The only thing you should do is that you have to cut the wires with a scissor after the crimping. Let's see how it works. We must insert the plug into this hole. Before doing that, we recommend you move the connector to the top of the wires like this. In this way, there will be no chance that some wire remains stuck in the clamp and will not be cut. Now let's take the clamp. And let's push the connector inside. Now that the plug is completely in the clamp, let's continue pushing till the wires get out on the other side. And push again till the PVC jacket is well inside the connector. Now is the moment to crimp. We have to press tightly. And it's done. Now we move the rubber cup up. And our plug is ready to go. Now you know everything you need to start crimping connectors in your own CCTV system. In your CCTV system, all connectors are done in the same way. When you connect a switch, a router, a PC, a camera, an NVR, the connector is always the same. On one end of the cable and on the other end, just keep the same sequence. 
Thank you for watching this video tutorial brought to you by DSE, the CCTV specialist. For further information or to buy any of the product you have seen in this video, please visit our website www.dse.eu.